come to the mindful moment. Take a moment to find a spot that is safe to relax completely. If you're driving, please opt out. Wherever you may be, ground your sit bones into the earth beneath you if you're sitting and notice your feet upon the earth if you're standing. Tilt your pelvis forward slightly, grow your spine long and tall and drop your shoulders with intention. Take in a deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. Take a moment to land fully in your body, giving yourself the gift of a pause and a gift of attention and a gift of a moment to just be. Take in another deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. Place your left hand atop your heart if it's safe to do so. Press the heel of your hand gently into that heart space, releasing a bit of oxytocin or kindness to self. Let the oxytocin seep into every nook and cranny as the blood circulates throughout your body. Take in another deep inhale through your nose, nourishing each and every cell and an exhale, letting things go. Place your right hand atop the left hand. Press in gently, slightly, a little bit more. Release a little bit more oxytocin, kindness to self. Take in another deep inhale and exhale. And sit for a moment and just reflect on the idea of being present for yourself. Learn to be present for yourself, fully present in a way that's new and delightful. Be present for your thoughts and emotions. Be present for the gentle way in which your heart and body lead you. Be present fully for each step of your growth and each step of your journey. Take in another deep inhale through your nose and an exhale. Connect once again with your hand to heart. Send yourself some appreciation and gratitude for the journey to be here, wherever you are in your life in this moment. Can you value yourself, who you are, and what you think and feel, and how you grow? Perhaps for many years you neglected yourself. It was as though you were unconscious of who you were, how you felt, and what you believed. Perhaps you believed that this kept you safe, protected from you, protected from feelings you didn't want to feel. Perhaps you believed it was how you should live, but now you are learning another way. Survival is no longer enough. It does not meet the needs of your heart and your soul. Now perhaps you want to live fully and joyfully, and to do that, you must be present for yourself. Once again, connect the heel of your hand to your heart, to yourself. Can you listen to your heart? What is it telling you? What is happening there? Take in a deep inhale once again, full of kindness and compassion for all that you are. Breathing out all that you are not. Would you like to also be fully present for others, present for the spirits, the emotions, and the words that others have to say to you, and to be especially present for the hearts of others? What if you no longer have to fear losing or neglecting yourself to be present for others? What if you can do this now, not be consumed by their needs, not become trapped in the workings of their lives, but by being present for yourself, taking a pause to be with yourself, to learn about yourself, to know yourself, and to show up as yourself fully and completely for others. How does that feel?
would it be possible? What if you could give yourself the gift of time and space to know and to listen and to be present with yourself? Take in another deep inhale, full of kindness and compassion to self. And an exhale, releasing everything. Take a final moment here just to notice how you feel. Notice the tingles anywhere that they may have spread and enjoy it. Notice the strength of the earth underneath your sit bones. Take a moment to draw up the strength and stability and firmness and presence of the earth in this moment, right up through you. Send it to that pocket behind your heart. All of it and all of you present in this moment, full of kindness and compassion and presence for you and for others. Everyone being taken care of. Slowly lower your hands to your thighs. Open your eyes if they were closed. Let the light back in and allow yourself to come back into this moment, this present moment. Thanks so much for joining me and for sharing in this mindful moment. Some of the passage that I read was an adaptation from a reading called Being Present for Yourself in Journey to the Heart by Melanie Beatty. We'll see you next week. Enjoy a mindful, present week with lots of moments of pause for you. Namaste. If you enjoyed today's mindful moment, of presence, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my new offerings. On my YouTube channel, there's tons of free mindful yoga classes, episodes of the Mindful Healers podcast, audios of my written blog, Pause and Presence for a Life Better Lived, and snippets of actual live mindful coaching from my coaching business, pause and presence coaching. I would love to have you join me for any of these offerings and hope to see you again soon. May you all be well and have a beautiful day that includes pause and presence, calm and peace, and a life better lived.